I was fired because my personal business was taking over my nine to five job. Over the past few weeks, some decisions have been made. Today will unfortunately be your last day. For the last year, I've been trying to run my own agency. My engagement and attention to nine to five was falling and the company had started to notice. I was stuck in this endless loop of starting off strong and then falling off, landing me in the same position every time. But I'm seeing this as an opportunity an opportunity to go all in. And I'm going to be documenting my entire journey from being fired to financial freedom. The goal is to go from zero to $50,000 a month. And I want to bring you guys along for the journey. Good morning, guys. Tuesday today, we've run into a bit of an issue. So my usual process for getting leads was going to a website called Apollo.com, which is basically a massive business database. For both companies, I had around 20,000-ish uh, people to go through. Now, unfortunately, Apollo have since updated their mechanism to stop you scraping at scale. And it's thrown a real, a real spanner in the works. I don't know what the strategy is and it's very important that we come up with a solution quickly for now that's very much up in the air and a big blocker in terms of business and working for existing clients need to get that sorted that's a big problem in terms of what we need to do today i've got a meeting with a marketing company one of my existing clients they have recently partnered with a channel marketing service and just coincidentally this marketing company they are headquartered in bournemouth as well so going to meet them in about two hours he's told them i'm a uh, soccer fan i don't know why i don't know where he got that from i think he just assumed that english people all like football just got back from the meeting with the marketing company I was quite nervous going into the meeting purely based on the fact that i wasn't sure whether or not there was going to be a conflict of interest there with regards to our marketing strategies they said to me though oftentimes they need agencies like mine to come in and deploy email campaigns for them so if there's any smaller email campaigns that they need doing I said, just reach out, we can have a coffee, whatever it may be, and we can discuss that. So very productive conversation, hopefully gonna get some more business through the doors. They're literally next door. The building that connects onto my flat here is their headquarters. So please tender, they'll give us a proposal. Okay, so just to give you an understanding of kind of how we'd come in, how we'd help, or how we'd look to help your company, we'd start by deploying an outbound email campaign. I find this is the very first, the best strategy to kind of just get your message out there in front of the right people. The first step in that process is understanding who your ideal customer profile is, obviously which company we want to target, where they're based, and then the roles in those companies that we want to target. Thursday today, so jobs for today, what do we need to do? First and foremost, we still need to try and optimize the database client. I was thinking yesterday, it's so hard to get clients on board, it's so hard to get clients paying you the money. It's really very important to make sure you're doing absolutely everything to make sure that your clients are getting the best results and they don't churn. So I'm gonna try a new campaign using the LinkedIn jobs method, sorry, whereby we're going on LinkedIn jobs, finding people that are actively recruiting for database administrators. But then what you can do in there, I notice, is filter it for every company that has an active recruiter. With That reduces the volume significantly, so from 4,000 job postings down to about 250. The benefit of this, though, is that it completely negates that problem whereby I said we don't know the best person to contact in the company. We know that that person that's on that job listing is absolutely the best person to speak to, and I think it's absolutely worth testing. That's the plan for today to get that campaign set up. It will probably take me the rest of today as i said we have to do everything we can to make sure this client remains happy and remains an ongoing client of ours so that is the plan for today that's something that, again i think we follow a very similar strategy when it comes to emails and and it's not just applicable to emails it's all sales in general right we want to we want to understand initially they understand my problem and currently we're not quite getting that. So coming towards the end of the day now, I've been feeling very, uh, not very good today. Kind of day where I just need to just, just push forward and just do the best I can. So I had a call today with my existing client just going over campaign strategy. You're likely gonna hear that in the previous clip. So this is just an expl explanation of what that was. It's Thanksgiving at the minute, so quite conscious not to deploy anything at the moment. I think the best day to deploy anything is gonna be on Tuesday. Hopefully our lead list issue or prospecting issue be sorted by then hey guys friday today um again another quite unproductive day today not for any reason other than i just haven't had much to do again still waiting on these leads to come through so had a meeting earlier with a indian software company i didn't really have much hope in that being a good meeting but actually turned out 
They're a very established company. That actually looks very, very promising. Got a sales call book for that next week. I guess I'm just trying to take, maybe just take a bit of a, have a bit of downtime really, because I've not had downtime for a while. So might be a nice opportunity to do that. I've got a powerlifting competition tomorrow, something I've been training for, for uh, 12, 12 weeks now. Probably just gonna take, again, take the evening off, get focused for that. Yeah, and then get back into it on Monday, Tuesday, whenever I get the leads back, basically. So um, yeah, that's the plan. Hey guys, just another quick update from the last one. I said I was gonna take some downtime, but I've realized that I, I genuinely have no interest in downtime at the minute. Like I've tried to watch some like shit on YouTube and I, I just, I, I don't, I don't really care for it. Like as soon as I, like when I'm eating something cool, like doing that, or, you know, I thought like maybe I'll play some games tonight or something, but like I genuinely, genuinely do not have an interest in doing that right now. Yeah, I used to like watching RuneScape videos, stuff like that. That's a game I've played for years and I just have no, no interest whatsoever. I just want to focus on my business and like the work there and that's what's enjoyable now. Maybe that's a good sign of like, having my dopamine systems being rewired is that like that's where I get my dopamine from whereas like five years ago I'd be looking forward to jumping on a game COD, Counter-Strike, RuneScape, whatever it may be. Now because I'm not doing anything like that that's where I'm getting my dopamine from that's how my brain's been rewired it's like now I'm looking forward to okay cool let's just go and do some work and it's not as fun it's not as over it's not as like stimulating but I've got nothing else like to do there's nothing else that I think, oh, I'm gonna go and do that. The only thing I've got like that is work. I guess that's a positive step. Just gonna keep working, doing like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but look at campaigns, send some emails, follow up with leads in my pipeline, basically. Anyway, um, yeah, just wanted to give that update.